do 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 What the hell is that? Well, I I can't find the file for the song, and I thought it would just hum it because you say people only watch the videos for the intro. Chair dude, why do I let you edit my videos? I'll just do it myself. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? We got Crash Sight, so I thought it would show Scorch some love. Now, Scorch was my second favorite Titan, and I don't really know if he is anymore. There's nothing wrong with him, it's just little by little, I just don't use him as much as I used to. And I don't really know why, maybe it's because I'm, I'm starting to like Legion more, and even Northstar. Scorch is great though, and there's nothing wrong with him, and after the, the change they made to him in this latest update, I feel like I don't have to use Inferno Shield as much, like... I used to yell at people if they didn't use anything but Inferno Shield, and every time somebody asked me for tips or strategies with Scorch, it's like, always use Inferno Shield, always flank, and just melt other Titans with your shield because every other kit sucks. And now, the way they changed it is that his shield lasts longer, just the base timer, so now I don't feel like I'm obligated to use Inferno Shield anymore. I've been trying different things with the kits, and it seems like, besides Inferno Shield, my other favorite kit is the one I'm using now, which is, it makes my Thermite Launcher stronger. I forget the name of it, but it seems pretty nice, so it, it allows me to be more of a longer range threat with Scorch, so if I actually land a shot with my Thermite Launcher, it deals some extra damage, which is always nice. I always felt like at long range, or even medium range, I wasn't much of a threat with Scorch, and it was like, okay, if I don't get in close range and melt them with my shield, I'm useless. And that, does, that doesn't feel like the, ca the case anymore. So now, when I actually have a long-range fight with the Titan and I land a shot, like, I know they're going to feel it. And that's that's good, you know? And then even if I do get close range or if I end up getting a flake on another guy, I still feel powerful with my shield and it doesn't feel like I'm I'm nerfing myself by not using Inferno Shield. This R201 is working wonders for me right now. <laughs> or maybe it's just my positioning. I don't know. I'm catching a lot of people off guard with the grapple on these flanks. All right, so we got Scorch. We'll see what we can do after I kill this guy. Wait, he might be running away. He, he, does, he has no idea. I felt like he was running away at first, but he never turned around to try and fight me. So I've been watching some live streams and some videos, and people are using the AOG site on the R101, and they're doing great with it. And then, so I gave it a chance again, and I just, I don't know, just something about the scope, I feel like it makes my aim worse. It's just, it's a weird personal preference. I, I feel like the sun glare on it just makes me miss more. I'm probably just finding ways to blame my bad play on something else, but I'm not a fan of the AOG scope, so I'm just going to stick with the HCOG. I hate that I was killed before getting him. What the? Two down, six <laughs> Say hello to my Scorch, boys. Hell yeah. So somebody just phased into Scorch, and then my auto titan, uh, he killed somebody else with the thermite launcher. All right, Scorch, just do all the work for me. I don't have to do anything for the rest of the match. So what I was going to say is that I got pissed off that I got killed before getting into my Titan because I got scared. I thought they would have uh, shot a bunch of archer rockets at him before I actually was able to pilot him. But luckily, my auto Titan can take care of himself. <laughs> I don't know if I was first to fall here, but we definitely do have an advantage. And I mentioned this before, but Crash Sight is one of those maps that if you learn the spawns of your enemy and you can catch them off guard, there's nowhere to hide. There's no buildings to hide inside of. There's no rooftops to try and head glitch. So as long as I can actually... Oh, this guy's AFK. As long as I can figure out where my enemies are, there's no chance for them to, to survive, especially if I'm Scorch. I usually get a lot of good gameplays on this map with Scorch and Ronin because I can just be aggressive and either put them on fire or just slice them up. And I noticed that when it comes to my losses, a lot of the time when I lose, it's on this map as well. This map, Complex, and I can't think of anything else at the moment. Maybe Colony or something. It's just, it's the certain maps where the enemy team has Titan control, there's just nowhere to run. And if you don't have like Phase Shift or Cloak to keep yourself alive, and obviously I don't because I use uh, Grapple like 98% of the time now, it sometimes I have some bad, some really bad games because I completely lost Titan control, and now it's just up to me and my team to use our anti Titan weapons efficiently and take out the Titans and try and get control back ourselves. And it's not the easiest thing to do. So Crash Site is definitely one of the maps where I have my best gameplays or my worst, just because of the layout. I don't know if you guys pay too much attention to Reddit and stuff like that or like the forums for Titanfall, but the next uh, update is called Glitch in the Frontier and apparently somebody went through the files and it's already leaked that the next map is actually, it's literally called Glitch. So I just hope that they never create another map like this ever again. It's like, I say that I have a lot of good gameplays on this on Crash Site, but at the same time, it's just an annoying map to maneuver around. I hate all the rocks. This Titan almost got me killed by the way by that Nuka Jack. <laughs> almost started screaming like get out of my way 
So yeah, I'm excited to see what Glitch looks like. I just hope we never, ever get another map like this. I don't have an issue with rocks and trees and stuff. It's just the way they're designed. I feel like if I'm not jumping on the walls, I just, I'm mantling rock after rock. I feel like I'm climbing a mountain to get around this map. And that's the most annoying thing. I think that's what most of us hate about this map. Speaking of hating things, I'm pretty sure the enemy is hating themselves right now because they keep spawning in that back corner and there's just nowhere for them to go. I mean, to be honest, all they have to do is be aggressive and flank around that that cave, you know, to my left. I don't really know what to call that. Because right now they just keep spawning and they just run straight at us and they're not going to win this fight with two of my titans to my left and then me shooting down flames everywhere. They just spawned another titan there. Okay, he actually might get away because I have no health. Yeah, this might be bad. I might need to eject. There's just something so satisfying about playing Scorch. The, however, I did notice that now that I'm not using Inferno Shield, I'm not as aggressive, and I kind of miss playing that aggressive playstyle and just melting faces off with my Inferno Shield. So honestly, I might keep switching between the two kits, but at least I don't feel obligated all the time to use Inferno Shield. It's nice to feel like I'm stronger with my, with my Thermite Launcher. Do I have a shield left? I don't want to get executed. Alright, they're not spawning anymore. To be honest, I feel like something needs to be done about that spawn. Because the only time they stopped spawning there was when we literally decided to step inside of that spawn. So the game was like, okay, now that there's enemies here, we can't spawn you here. But it's just such a bad choke point to get caught up in. This game went by really fast. There's something about Scorch, man. I don't know, like, I love playing as Ronin. But when I have a good game now as Ronin, it's just like, okay, I had a good game with Ronin. Cool. But when I have a good game with Scorch, I just feel so damn powerful i think it's just the look and feel and the sound of scorch it just makes you feel like an absolute powerhouse until you get destroyed by a satchel charge wait a second how did that how did that ignite did he ignite that manually or did i just step on it and explode it so i don't know what the hell just happened there but hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay I got 27 kills didn't get too many titan kills but i'm sure i did a lot of damage to other titans I'm talking and I'm still thinking about how I died there. I think what happened is I walked over it and I had my my shield up, so maybe like my shield hit the, the satchel charge and I killed myself with someone else's satchel. I don't know. We're going to have to look back on that one and do it in slow motion and see what happened. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you drop a like for me and much love. Honestly, the channel growth has been insane lately. I never know how to really take it in, but I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.